If you want to get in contact with me, the best way to do it is on Instagram. If you just want to say what up, if you want to tell me you love my videos, you can tell me that you hate my videos, but the best way to do that is on Instagram. Peace, y'all. Johnny Fastlane here. So, Gunna gets exposed as a snitch, and Doja Cat says hip hop is just way too bland. Plus, Cash Doll gives away healthcare scholarships. Let's talk hip hop. I mean, it's, it's a murder case. No one wants to go down for it. No one. Devani Benton's younger cousin, Sergio Kitchens, says Benton is on trial for murder simply because his friends turned on him. Just go to, just go to see like you ain't got no real friends out here. You know what I'm saying? I learned from that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm not happy that it, that it happened, but you know what I'm saying? I'm, I was, I'm kind of good to see that, be on the outside looking in. Kitchens is now a member of the neighborhood rap group SPC, known as Shady Park Click, like his cousin once was. Yeah, that's why that's why it's come back to that that, that street word, snitch. No one's want to be labeled as a snitch. I don't want to tell on him because somebody might c try to come kill, kill me or someone in my family. Kitchens says Benton first lied to police because he didn't want to rat out another member, Clarence Carter. Everybody like no like the streets no and so everybody looking at it like it was wrong because this man would let a, a, let my family member you know what i'm saying go down for something he did right. kitchens claims benton and carter were both wearing red the night jasmine lynn was shot it was red. just a, co a coincidence of how it was put out like they actually had on the same exact color okay. he just had on the hood and devo then he had on a regular shirt Kitchens believes that mistaken identity played a big role in this case. And he knows one thing for sure, that his cousin is innocent. And it's not right because you think you have one in jail for the crime, but it's not the right guy. All right, so that was a clip of an old like CNN news report uh, with Gunna on there, right? So, all right, this rapper named Tech, he's from Louisiana. Uh, yesterday, he goes on Instagram. He has like a grainy, like weird, like cell phone recorded version of that same video. I found this video on YouTube, but he was like recording it off the TV uh, with his phone, right? But the bottom line is, you know, Tech was like, yo, this dude Gunna is a snitch and here's why, right? So in the video, Video, um, and I don't really know why Tech is even upset at Gunna at all or why he's beefing with him. All I know is that, you know, Tech is a crip and I think Gunna is a blood because he hangs out with Young Thug and that's why I sell and they call each other slime. But he might not really be a blood. He might just be like affiliated with a blood nigga who's his boss, Young Thug, right? But anyway, so Tech uh, in the video basically it shows Gunna kind of talking about his cousin uh, being convicted of a murder, right? So apparently they were all in some kind of rap group, right? Um, and, you know, Gunna's cousin was arrested and locked up for that murder. And Gunna goes on CNN and does like a whole like interview kind of walkthrough thing uh, with the news reporter basically explaining how his cousin was wrongfully convicted, right? So I see what he's doing, right? He's basically saying, look, my cousin didn't commit the murder. Uh, he shouldn't be in jail. Um, it was this other dude named blah, blah, blah. So that's what I'm saying. So he went as far as to say, oh no, it was the other guy, right? Um, and the other guy was also in the rap group with Gunna and his cousin too, right? Um, and Gunna goes on to explain the fact that, you know, his cousin and the guy who actually did commit the murder had on the same color clothing that day, you know, where his cousin just had on a t-shirt, a red t-shirt. Uh, the dude had on a red hoodie and it was just weird that both of them had on red. Um, it was a case of mistaken identity and blah 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 right um so it is crazy and weird um so anyway gunna doesn't really respond he's like overseas he's on tour he's chilling getting this money right uh but tech is is loving it right so he starts a new challenge hey i got a new challenge for y'all you hear me i got a brand new challenge this bitch called a snatch a rapper purse snatch a rapper purse challenge any rapper you catch this is all 2020, all 2020. Any rapper you catch with a motherfucking purse, snatch that bitch. You know, we back on that snatching purses, but we not taking old lady purses. If you take an old lady purse, you a bitch. If you take a girl purse, you a bitch. But you know, on the other side, if you take a rapper purse, you could get a verse from Lil Wap. You 
catch any rapper with the biggest Chanel bag in the store that they want, go snatch that shit. You know, any rapper with the with the with the big with the slash half purse, any kind of purse, you see him with that bitch, snatch that bitch. By Lil Wap Hussein signed off, I'ma give y'all a verse. I swear to God, whoever win the challenge, y'all get verse on gang. Lose shit, gang. Snatch a rapper purse, okay? <laughs> like, yo, tech is wildin', right? Um, and then this is a long live, so he goes on to say that we not only snatching purses, because we all know that Gunner wears purses, and it's kind of like a funny joke, but he says we not only snatching purses, we snatching your brain too, right? Um, then he also says, I am a nigga that you gonna have to kill, because guess what? I'm a kill me a nigga, right? So, <laughs> I I swear to y'all, right? So, dude, this dude Tech is crazy, right? Um, and it's funny and very entertaining. Um, as long as nobody really gets hurt in this situation, right? Um, and you know, I'm just kind of surprised uh, that Gunner would even sit on CNN and do all that and talk all that. So that's like the other side of it, right? Um, and I like Gunner, right? And I like his music, and he's from Atlanta. He's a hood nigga and all that stuff like that. But to see him, you know, even doing that right um it's just kind of weird like uh, nigga I, I i wouldn't even go that far like it's not like he got caught up in a crime with the dude and he snitched on a dude like six nine but he did tell well i mean he didn't sit in court and tell who who committed the murder but he did go on cnn on national tv on the news and tell who committed a murder so you know what i'm saying it is it is kind of snitching you feel me um which is sad because you know what am i supposed to do now like not listen to gunner uh, let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. So Doja Cat gives an interview, right? Um, and basically she says that hip hop is very one dimensional right now um, and that it needs somebody, a, a rapper who can come through with a little flavor, you know, give hip hop like a theme, even if it's just a theme for like their own thing, right? Give it a theme, give it um, something uh, that has a cartoonish twist is exactly what Doja Cat said, right? Um, and it's funny and weird, right? So I know that she's saying this because her brand of hip hop is very you know playful very bubbly very cool um and i like it right i love doja cat's music right but there are also other rappers who take themselves super seriously right um like a young ma right or a boogie with the hoodie or casting over two times so these people take and it's funny that i named three rappers from new york right but um it, these mcs take their craft very serious and you ain't finna play with them right um they not finna joke around they not, they not finna laugh, they not finna do no cartoonish shit, nothing like that, right? Um, but then you have other rappers who are lean very heavily towards like cartoonish, you know, stuff and themes and like characteristics and things like that. Like little Uzi Vert, um, when 6ix9ine was out of jail, every album artwork that he used to have was like a cartoon or something, right? Um, we can even take it back to Redman, right? Redman didn't take himself too seriously. He always used to joke around, he used to have themes, he used to have the big girls looking like Lizzo in his music videos. Um, you could take it back to Ludacris. Ludacris was very like cartoonish with like the way his music videos are. Missy, Missy Elliott, Lizzo for that matter, Rico Nasty. Um, the baby. I want to talk about the baby because the baby is a perfect combination of the two where he does get cartoonish and he makes fun of himself and he doesn't take himself too seriously, right? He'll wear, you know, a suit making himself look like a super muscular dude or wearing a pamper or whatever like that. But the baby also makes gangster music and he's nothing to be played with as well, right? Um, so I think that the baby kind of found that, you know, that nice line to tote, right? Where it's like, you ain't gonna play with me, but I'm still gonna make fun of myself I'm still gonna have fun with this hip-hop thing right um, and I just think that Doja Cat is maybe having a hard time like finding her footing in hip-hop where she kind of just I guess feels accepted like all right I'm in a room full of you know people that fucks with me right um, so, you know, she's saying that there needs to be a cartoonish twist on a lot of stuff, or maybe Doja Cat is gearing up to come out with, you know, a more playful kind of style or uh, a different kind of theme to her music, right? Um, but I guess we'll have to see, man. I Well, I, I don't agree with Doja Cat that hip-hop is 
you know, one-sided and that it needs a cartoonish theme. I, I think that all, you know, points and mechanisms in hip hop is dope and cool. So I appreciate, you know, everything that Doja Cat or Ludacris or Missy Elliott bring to the game, but I also appreciate everything that A Boogie and Young M.A. and Dave East bring to the game too. You feel me? Um, but let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. I love this time of year because this is like when rappers give back, right? But not all rappers, so you finna see like who really gives back and who cares about their community and who doesn't, right? And sometimes rappers give back and you don't really hear about it. So I don't want to say just because you didn't hear about them giving back doesn't mean that they don't, right? But a couple people that we definitely heard about giving back was Meek Mill, 21 Savage, Future, uh, Lil Pump, actually. Um, so another rapper that's actually giving back around this time of year is of course Cash Doll, right? And you know, she's from Detroit, the same place that Big Sean is from, and Big Sean always gives back to Detroit. So I'm sure that Cash Doll, who also runs with uh, Big Sean a lot, um, learned from the best, right? So the whole situation is that this is the second year that she's doing this, right? So it's a Christmas giveaway um, at a phlebotomy school uh, for training, phle uh, phlebotomist training, right? And basically what she did was she had 10 people um, submit a three minute video and why they are the ones who need the funding and that she was just gonna pick from those 10 people, you know, one person or I think maybe up to three people um, who she's gonna give the funding to, which is dope, right? Um, but she ended up giving it to 20 people, which I think is everybody in the damn class, right? So this is all good. It's like, if you going, I'm paying for the shit, right? I mean, it's not really like college or anything like that, but it's more like a trade school. So it's like if you're taking bartending class or, you know, CPR training, or whatever the case may be. It doesn't cost, you know, $75,000 a semester, but it may cost, you know, a thousand bucks, you know, in the next, you know, it's eight weeks so that, you know, you can get your little certificate and then move on from there, get you a job and all that stuff, right? So she's paying for 20 people's, you know, certificate in class and all that stuff like that, right? Um, which is super dope. And this is not the first time that Cash Doll has gave back in her own community, right, of Detroit. So this is fire, man. And I just, I like to see it because it shows like who's humble who came from like the trenches who didn't forget once they became you know a celebrity and became rich you know what life in the hood is all about right um but this is dope man let me know what you think about this and everything else in the comments down below don't forget to like comment share subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell follow me at johnny fasting on instagram and y'all already know what to do peace